This topic will surely be the most complicated of all the tutorials, so it will be necessary to pay close attention to all the details of the code. Let's see the following animation. Suppose we want the text to always stay to the right of the dot, regardless of where the dot is located. The easiest way to do this is to use the addUpdater method. This method assigns an object a series of tasks, which must be executing each frame of the animation. The update functions always have a single parameter. When two parameters are used, Manim understands that the second parameter is alpha that we will use later. This function will make the text always be located to the right of the dot on each frame of the animation. The way to use addUpdater is to use as parameter the functions that we want to be updated in the animation. A very important point that cannot be forgotten is to add the object to the screen again. Even if you have already added it before, every time you add an addUpdater method to an object, you must add it to the screen again using self add. We can see that now it does not matter how many times you move the dot, the text will always accompany it. In case you want to remove this function, use remove updater. And in case the object has more than one function of this style, you can use clear updaters to remove all the functions. Let's analyze the complete code. We create two objects, a dot and a text that is to the right of a dot. We add them to the screen from the beginning. We create the function update text with a parameter this parameter is always going to be kept to the right of the dot. Then we add the function to the addUpdater method or we add the object back to the screen even though it was already on the screen. Then we move the dot two units up and at the end we remove the function addUpdater. One way to compact this code in case they are simple functions, you can use the lambda function in this way. In this syntax, it is understood that m is the object text. However, if we use the lambda function, we can no longer use remove updater. We would have to use clear updaters. If we only want to apply the update text function once, the update from func animation can be used. In the first parameter, the object to which the function is going to be applied, and in the second goes the function. The update functions can also be applied to update numerical values constantly. For this, the decimal number class is used. This class has a mandatory parameter, a number. When creating an object with this class, you can insert the number if you want. You can set the number of decimals, if it includes a sign at units. The animation that we are going to perform shows the x-coordinate of a dot. 
For this, the set value method is used, which sets the decimal number value in each frame. If we want to control a parameter with a precise numerical value, we can use value tracker. For example, I want the angle between two lines to be controlled with a numerical value. For this, we create an object using value tracker with the initial value. In this example, the initial angle between two lines will be pl/2. Theta value tracker pl/2. To extract the numerical value tracker value use the get value method we see that i have configured line 2 so that its angle is constantly updated by extracting the value of theta theta dot get value to modify the value of theta value in an animation we can use increment value or set value if our initial value of theta is pl slash 2 then when using increment value pl slash 2, we will increase the value of theta to pl. We can do the same if we use set value pl. Another method that is very useful when using the update function is become. Suppose we want to draw the angle between the two lines we have made in the previous animation. For this we will use the class arc. To extract the angle of a line object use get angle, so we use it to create the arc. We can use the technique that was shown at the beginning of the video, that is, create a function using def. But given the nature of the animation, we can simplify it using the lambda function. The structure of the animation is as follows. We create a value tracker object. We configure line 2 so that its angle is indicated by the value tracker object. Then we create an arc whose characteristics depend on line 1 and line 2. And since line 2 depends on value tracker, then the arc will also depend on value tracker. The command become means that the arc will be transformed continuously depending on the parameters that we have indicated.